Good morning and welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. This is Inspired by Joy, week number three. You should be aware, I've had a big bowl of bitch flakes and I'm feeling it today. So if I sound a little bit blunt, that's what it is. So it was big heaping spoonfuls of it too. So we're gonna begin, we're gonna continue with our hook size of a five and a half millimeter size eye. I am smiling here behind the camera because uh, it makes me sound more pleasant. <laughs> And we're going to begin with rows number, or rounds number 34 all the way to 53. So we're going to begin the journey, and this has a lot of texture to it, and uh, let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Again, if you would like to change the color at any point, you're more than welcome to do so, and I am going to stick with my method of teaching how to do the corner, getting myself to the edge, the other side, and then finishing off. So let's begin today's Inspired by Joy. <laughs> begin round number 34. If you're not changing the color, just chain a total of three where you are. If you are changing the color, let's just join it and then chain three. So I'm joining it and then one, two, three. And we're going to double crochet in the same corner. So the corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We have to watch whenever we approach a corner in the future because there's going to be an odd stitch count out, which is fine. It just, you have to be aware of it. So Ginny wants us to skip the next stitch, which is right here, and go to the next one with a front post treble. So wrap the hook twice. I know how much you love trebles. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And she wants us then to double crochet in the skip stitch on the behind. Okay, so you're just gonna reach and go and access it from behind and double crochet. I've never seen that combo before. Jeannie's really thinking today. So we're going to continue the same idea. So you're going to skip the next one, go to the one after that, and you were going to front post treble. And then what are you going to do to that? Yep, you're going to double crochet in the one you're going to skip. So Jeannie says for us is that we're going to continue this journey all the way to the corner, but you're going to be one stitch left. And on the very last stitch, is that you're just gonna double crochet before you turn into a corner. And the corners that they mentioned is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Please continue your journey around and uh, let's, <laughs> let's get this done. And I'll be right back in a moment. So when you're approaching the end or any of the corners, when you're coming around on this one, you are going to do your front post troubles and you'll be left with one lonely stitch at the end before you hit a corner, as I mentioned before. So you're just going to double crochet into that lonely stitch. See there? I'm so lonely. And then going into the corner to finish this one is two double crochet. And Ginny has a lot of color play. So if you would like to break up your colors, it's a great opportunity. So if you are going to break, just chain two and then slip stitch to the top of the first chain three or do a half double crochet join. You decide. Okay, so let's do that. I will be changing colors just because, and I'll move on to 35 next. Okay, lucky round number 35. Just join it to a corner with a standing single crochet. So put it onto the hook first, jam it into your corner, yarn over, pull through, two loops, pull through two, standing single crochet. I know your world is complete now. So in the corners in this round is gonna be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and we'll finish this corner on the way around. So starting in the very first one, you're just going to apply one single crochet in every stitch. So Jeannie's giving us a bit of a mental break uh, from those uh, troubles that she consigned us to. <laughs> I know people complain about those all the time. So you're just gonna put in one single crochet in each stitch all the way around corners, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. And I'll be right back in a moment. So we're coming all the way around, and if it's the regular corners, it was two, uh, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. We're gonna uh, change out this color. So single crochet in the corner, and then just chain two and join to the first standing single crochet, or do the half double crochet join. You decide, get rid of this color, and be right back in a second. Let's begin round number 36, starting with the new color. You're gonna just attach it to any chain two space in the corners. And I'm using cheerful colors, not representing my own attitude today. <laughs> so we're gonna join and we'll chain three. Somebody's probably gonna complain, you need to stay on topic. <laughs> so we got the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So let's uh, begin our journey uh, on the side here. So you're gonna chain one 
you're going to skip the first one. See how this comes into there? People think that that joining looks like a stitch and so they add a stitch and then they send it me a complaint email. <laughs> love those so this here is the stitch you're going to skip and you're going to go right into this bad boy right here so i've already chained one so i've gone into here so this whole round is nice and fast it's going to chain one skip the next one and you're going to do this all the way to the other side okay and so when you get to the other side you'll have one that's skipped before the corner and then apply your corner of two double crochet chain two two double crochet Okay, rock your world and do it. I'll be right back. So when approaching a corner or the final corner here, just keeping in that sequence, you're going to come in and you'll automatically note that you'll skip the last one here before a corner, chain one, and then slam in two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet if it's a regular corner. And if it's a ending like this, um, Jeannie wants us to change the color again. So just chain two, and let's just join it to the top of the first chain three. Oh my God, the dogs are playing upstairs for the love of God. Snip it. And I gotta go upstairs and start cracking some heads. Okay, so I'm back. So round number 37, how to go up there. You know, Daniel promised me purse dogs and all I have, I have two dogs here that are the size of dump trucks. <laughs> Let's uh, just join it to the corner and we're gonna do a standing single crochet. And we're going to fill in these spaces that we left here. So you couldn't see that in the sample because um, she's gonna have us fill this in. So the corners on this one will be also um, one double, or uh, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So we have to just look for where these open spots are and slam in uh, trebles down into the empty holes. So you're gonna start off and put two single crochets in a row. So one and two, because there's nothing to jump down to. And now we're gonna jump here. So just, oh my God, she's got us doing trebles again. So we're gonna do trebles down here. Please do not email me. <laughs> but this, you know, I have to say that I'm pretty proud of her. This is outside of her comfort zone. So this is really good. So we're gonna, a single crochet in the top, okay? So it's gonna fill in the hole. Hopefully you like to have your holes filled in on crochet, of course. I don't know what you're talking about. And you're just gonna come in and treble down and then single in the next double okay actually this is really cool okay i will give her an a plus but no stickers today so please do this all the way to the end when you get close to the corner you'll put in two single crochets that'll lead into the corner and then a corner of one single crochet chain two one single crochet so please do this all the way around this is round number 37. so coming back around you know once in a blue moon Jeannie likes to send me videos of herself rubbing the stitcher the texture and she does like this with her finger <sighs> there's not enough counseling just saying um yeah so i'm going to continue all the way around <laughs> especially on a cruise ship um yeah so let's uh, continue around you may need counseling yourself by the end of this tutorial too so coming around um she wants us, oh my God, we get to keep the same color, thank goodness. So it's single crochet, and then you can just join to the half double crochet. There you go. <laughs> Let's continue to round number 38. Number 38, we're gonna chain three, counts as your first double crochet, and Jeannie wants us to double crochet in again. It says chain one, skip the next stitch out. See the base here, it's right there, not that join. So this is where we're going to go and we're going to double crochet. She wants us to do like that picket fence concept that we did before in the blue. So chain one, skip one, and we'll do one double crochet in the next. So chain one, skip one. Okay, so you're going to lead into your corner. You'll skip the last one before the corner. The corners will be um, two double crochet. Chain two, two double crochet, and you'll continue this around and I'll see you at the end of this round. Hee-haw. <laughs> okay, I'm coming all the way around, pretending to at least, and chain one, skip the last one before the corner, and then do your corner of two double crochet. And she wants us to change color, so chain two, slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And if you prefer a half double crochet join, please do that. So there we go, and let's move on to round number 39. And now for an episode of Pigs in Space. 
<laughs> I know, The Adventures of the Swine Track. If anybody's ever, um, the millennials, you'll never know what that is, but uh, us oldie people. <laughs> Quality television entertainment. We're continuing with uh, round number 39, which is the same as number 37. So just join it with the standing single crochet. Your corners will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. You're going to drop down like you were before where the holes are. So you'll put in a single crochet in each of the, of the first two and then you'll start your trebles going down. So just going down to this empty space. Okay, right there. And then single to the top of the next double. So you just, you're, you already know what you're doing at this point. <laughs> your host may not though. And I'm just gonna carry on around and then your last two before the corner will be um, two single crochets. And then you'll have your corner of one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Continue this for round number 39, and I'll be right back in a moment. I'm coming up around to the end, but if it is the uh, corner, it's the same information. Just filling in your holes, and then you'll have two single crochets in a row. And then um, in the corner, and she wants us to change the color once we get there. So single crochet, if I can just move my down hook, and chain two, and join to the top. Let's get rid of this color and let's move on to number 40. Okay, we're on number 40. This is actually crochet at this moment is actually calming me down. I have to thing. I have to admit. So maybe there's something to it, right? So we're going to start with um, a standing single crochet in a corner. And okay, and now it says to work in the back loop only one single crochet in each stitch to the corner. Where's the first stitch? If you say this one, I'm going to literally reach through the screen and literally do something. <laughs> it's this one. See how it comes into this corner, comes down? So it's top here. The join always looks like it. People, you will not believe how many people message me that their stitch counts are off because they do that. So I'm really kind of hoping to kind of make light of it in a certain way, but trying to avoid the email as well. So we're just going to back loop single crochet all the way to the corner. Your corners on this round, oh my goodness, it's always what we know. One single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. I know. So please do this all the way around. I'm gonna just snippy because I feel like using scissors and I'll see you on the way back around. This is number 40. Coming up all the way around and you know the routine at this point, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet if it's a real corner and uh, she wants us to keep the color so that's good so we'll do a half double crochet join and let's go on to number 41 next number 41 chain up three that's your first double crochet and slam in another double crochet into the corner i had an email once you're not supposed to be using terms like slamming and stuff you know what i'll do what i want so we have this and it's going to be one double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way to the next corner and the corners are two double crochet chain two two double crochet it's amazing to me what people have a comment to and you know what trying to make crochet fun so slam away <laughs> i'll see you at the end of this round this is number 41 <laughs> so i'm just coming in right to the very end right into the last corner and she wants us to keep the same color look at that <laughs> And we're gonna join them for with a half double crochet at the top. Okay, so let's move on to number 42. Okay, number 42, chain up one and apply one single crochet into the corner. And the corner will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet when you do the regular corners. Starting in your very first stitch out, it's just gonna be one single crochet in every stitch going all the way across. Please do that and meet me here at the end of number 42. Okay, we're just continuing around, single crochet in every stitch. And then in the corner, just finish it off with a single crochet. And she wants us to keep the same color, so we're gonna do a half double crochet join once again. Let's move on to number 43. Okay, so number 43. And Jeannie, I'm liking this pattern so far. You got some good stuff going on here. <laughs> You're not making me bust a brain cell here. So let's uh, chain up three, and you'll do one double crochet into the corner. So your corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And now we're just gonna start with this one right here. 
and you're just double crocheting every stitch going to the next corner. And as your corners, as I mentioned, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Please do this all the way around for number 43. I know that there's gonna be a wild twist coming, so I'll take the good moments while I can. Um, actually, I'm really fascinated with Jeannie's concept here. I might have to use this. <laughs> Don't tell her though, jeez. <laughs> Okay, coming up in the end of round number 43, and you'll put two double crochet into the corner. And Jeannie doesn't want us to change the color, so we'll just do a half double crochet join. And, oh my goodness, look at round number 44 next. Just when you thought you were having a holiday, folks, Jeannie's gonna send us on a wild little goose ride. The, a goose ride? No, a toad ride. I don't know what kind of ride. Let's continue to number 44. <laughs> Okay, so you know how this fancy stitch work we did over here, we're gonna redo this again. So we're going to start off with the chain three and you're going to double crochet into the same one. And she says to skip the next stitch, so skip the next one and do that front post treble. See, we're back to the trebles again. See, there goes my mood swing. Way to go, Jeannie. So then you'll come back to the one you skipped and just double crochet in. <laughs> Um, I, by the way, I'm trying to get off my uh, tea addiction. That's why I'm kind of cranky. So just uh, getting, uh, skip the next one, front post trouble. So anyway, our local Tim Hortons closed and uh, there's an, there's other ones all of course around us and then you'll double crochet into the one you skipped. So um, anyway, they closed our local location. So I'm adamant about not continuing, but um, getting off the tea, there's an addictive property to it and it's making me absolutely just psycho. So yesterday I had a complete meltdown, complete with yelling and everything, <laughs> which is not in my character. Um, but anyway, so you're gonna continue that all the way around. Remember that you'll have a lonely one uh, right at the end, so you just double crochet in the one before the corner and then um, put in your um, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and that better not be a not going into my project because today is not the day, Satan. <laughs> so I'm coming up all the way around. I have the one lonely one after I've done my crisscross kind of formation. So it's lonely just before the corner and then you apply your corners of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. But in my case, it's going to be um, not that, just two double crochet. And we need to change out this color. So I'm going to just chain two and slip stitch to the top of the first chain three. And let's continue then to round number 45. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting ride here, number 45. Let's just uh, start, and you're going to join in any corner. And this chain three counts as your first double crochet. So one, two, three, and then double crochet into the same spot. So the corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. It says to double crochet into the next stitch, so we're gonna double crochet into this one. And then it says skip the next stitch, one treble front post in the next. So it's in this one here. Oh, so this front post treble, it's gonna have a front post treble. And it makes sense compared to her blowing, uh, her blow up photos. And then you're in the one that you skipped over, you're just gonna double crochet. So you're gonna, you're, that's all folks. Um, you're just continuing the same idea. So you just jump to the next front post treble and then come into the one you skipped. Okay, so let me just read this. So one double crochet, one double crochet. Okay, so we're gonna do this all the way to the corner. Okay, so do that all the way to the corner and then um, put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and then I'll meet you at the end of this round. So um, I'll be back in just a moment. So I just wanna make sure I don't miss my point. When you started this round, you had two double crochets in and then there was one double crochet by itself before you started the crisscross stuff. So make sure that you do that every side that there's one lonely one by itself. And this is going to put us in line so that when you're uh, finishing up this side or any side of this uh, round, is that you're going to end up with the crisscross going right to the very last one here. Do you see that? And then double crocheting in, and then you jump to immediately to your corner. So it'll be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, if it's a fresh corner for you, but if it's the end, uh, what we need to do then at this point is to break the color. So we're gonna chain two, 
slip stitch to the first one here and that's how it would begin. So you can see this goes further into the corner than this one starting out, which makes sense in this pattern. Number 46, a brand new color. Just join it and then chain three. That's your first double and double crochet in. So your corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Jeannie's asking us to begin immediately with this crisscross formation. So we are going to treble immediately into the first one. Oh, sorry, you skip this one, go to the second, and you're gonna do your front post treble there. And then you'll do your double crochet in the, in the skipped one behind. And so that will put us in alignment then for the rest. So then you'll just immediately come to the next front post treble and make it a front post treble and then come in double crochet into the one you skipped over. Okay, so you're gonna do this, let's read the instructions. So you're gonna do this until one stitch remains. So you'll have one double crochet in before you turn the corner. So that's one by itself and then you'll start a new side. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Please continue this around for number 46 and I'll be right back in a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around and I'm going to be one stitch or, um, before a corner that's going to be by itself and this will happen on every one of the corners so just slam in uh, oh there you go with slamming slam in a double crochet and then put in your two double crochet into the corner and Jeannie wants us to break it so we're going to chain two slip stitch to the top of the first chain three but if you prefer half double crochet join please be my guest now let's move on to number 47. Okay, lucky round number 47 is the same as number 45, so let's continue the journey. And we're going to just join with into a corner and then chain three and double crochet into the same corner. Okay, so now it's the same as number 45, so looking back, we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. So that's the one double crochet that's gonna be by itself. So every um, side will start off that way. And then you're going to start with the crisscross formation of the front post treble around the front post treble below. And then just cross back with a double crochet into the one you skipped. So you need to do that all the way to your corner. Don't forget to start your sides off with that one lonely double crochet by itself. And then I'll see you at the end of this round, number 47. And this will be the last time you're doing this concept in this particular moment in time and we'll be back in a moment. So whether you're coming up on a corner or the final side here, then you're just going to continue with what you know, the crisscross right into the very last stitch. And then you'll finish it off then with two double crochet. Right, and then we're going to be breaking the color. So just chain two and slip stitch to the top of the chain three and we're gonna begin the 48th round next. Okay, the 48th is the same as number 40. So looking back, we're going to join with a standing single crochet into a corner. Your corners will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and we'll finish this corner on the way around. So you're gonna start off in the very first one, you're gonna do the back loop only, just working your way around. So just jump on into the back loops and do that. Hit your corners of two double, or one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is number 48. When you get to any corner, remember it's one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. In this case, um, they want us to keep the color. So just they, meaning Jeannie. A half double crochet join is fine. And let's move on to number 49. Number 49, keep in the same color, just chain up three and then put in one double crochet into the corners. The corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and just slam in one double crochet in every stitch going all the way around. Okay, so please do this. This is 49, which is the same as number 41. I'll be right back in a moment. So coming all the way around, just finish off your corner the way that you know it. There's no color change required. So just put in two double crochet and then join with a half double crochet at the top of the first chain three. Let's move on to number 50. Okay, number 50, here we go. And you're just gonna chain up one and apply one single crochet in the corner. Corners on this round will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. You're going to just apply one single crochet in every stitch to the next corner. And as I mentioned, one single crochet, chain two, 
one single crochet. Please do this around. This is round number 50 and I'll be right back. Oh, this color will be uh, changing at the end too. I'll be right back in a moment. Coming up to the end of number 50, just filling in that last one with a single crochet and then we are changing the color. So just chain two and slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. So let's do that and let's start with number 51 in a moment. Let's begin number 51, new color. Join with any, in any corner and you're going to chain three and then double crochet into the same one as the join. And you're just going to apply one double crochet in each stitch going all the way across to the next corner. Corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Please do this around for number 51. Coming around to number 51, just filling in the two double crochets in there. Um, Ginny wants us to change color, so chain, uh, chain two and just slip stitch to the first chain three. So let's move on to number 52. Okay, number 52, gonna start off things a little differently this time and we're gonna slip stitch to the corner. Okay, so to join it and then chain one and we're gonna do an extended single crochet. To do that, you're just gonna go into the corner, pull through, pull through one loop and then pull through two. And that's an extended one. So the corners on this round will be one extended single crochet, chain two and one extended single crochet. So as you start off then, you're gonna start off immediately with the first one and you're gonna do a double crochet front post. And then you'll do the next one as a back post, a double crochet back post. And you're gonna alternate between these stitches all the way to the other side. Okay, and so the last stitch, if you're keeping alternating, the last stitch before a corner will be a front post double crochet to keep the balance. So then you'll do your corners as I mentioned already and you'll do this around. This is round number 52. So coming into my last corner, it'll be an extended single crochet and then uh, we wanna end this color. So we're gonna chain two and then just join it to the first extended single crochet that you started with. So we'll do that and let's move on to number 53 next. Number 53 will conclude for today and we're going to go right into a corner and just join it with a standing single crochet. And then starting in the very first one, the extended is right here, so ignore the joining. And you're just gonna go into the back loop only and single crochet in every stitch all the way to the corner. Your corners will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So just keep on the back loops only for the texture look. And I'll be right back in a moment at the end of this round. Okay, coming up all the way around, just continuing with my back loops only. And then I gotta finish my corner. So there'll be one single crochet in, and it says do not break your yarn as you will continue next week. So it'll just say a half double crochet join to the beginning standing single crochet. And this is where we're gonna end today, and we hope you had a good one. And uh, sorry for my attitude. <laughs> and it's actually really neat, and we've done a lot of work today. And be proud of yourself. And we'll hope to see your, um, work in progress on Facebook on the Yarnspirations Stitch Squad. Until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.